All right, MRI man, back at you with another one, the MRI podcast. I want to thank all the new subscribers, all the OG subscribers. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this video is going to be about the MRI registry. Dun, dun, dun. How to pass your boards. What I did. Well, as you see, you see a website right there. This is uh, MRIquiz.com. And this is part of what I use to pass the ART. Um, this is a great website. You guys need to check it out. It's, uh, I think it's $99 for the whole year. And, you know, you can split that up with your classmates or your, your whoever, and you guys can use this website. Basically, it's going to, it's an awesome website. It has, um, I don't know, I think it says it has like 2,000 or 1,600 different questions and it mix it up and it's all split up in different groups as you can see uh, cardiac mr advanced mr imaging anatomy msk spine brain neck body mri safety uh hardware history of the mri pulse sequences image formation everything you need to know patient care image basics formulas you know it, it has like everything you need to know and it's a great website it even has a mock test that has uh, 200 questions, and it's really similar to the the registry t uh, test I took for the ART in it. And they're guaranteeing you that you're gonna pass if you pa pass their mock exam with 90 and above. Then they say you're gonna pass the registry, and it says this for ART, Armrit, either one. This website really is like well rounded and it, it gets you uh ready to take the test. Um my school also gave me some exit exam uh questions and uh, you know some study guide stuff and it was you know they helped out but this website just gave me that extra push, extra confidence that I needed and it got me like into that feeling of, you know, getting ready of, to take the super long test. And I took the test so many times and it kind of, it's like working out your brain, you know, and you can use this app. Uh, it's, or you can use this, this, uh, program on the go, you know, you can use it on your iPad, on your phone and it mixes up the questions and it has like a scoring system in there. It's pretty cool. I like it. And I also did use flashcards for like certain things I knew that I wasn't so sharp in. Like, you know, some of the uh, terms and the formulas. And, you know, you got to get your formulas down. Definitely got to know that scan time formula, pixel volume and stuff like that. You know, <clears throat> know your parameters, what a T2 is, T1 is. And it's all in there, man. Everything's on this website. Everything you need is on this website, I think. There's some other things. I have like a pretty damn good study guide. And I'm trying to figure out a way I can share it with you guys. And I really haven't got there yet and how I'm going to do that. I also like how they break up the sections. And you can take tests in each section. Like brain anatomy or pulse sequences, formulas, MRI safety. Those will also each be broken up into individual testing sections. So you don't have to go straight to the mock. You can kind of like work your way down the list and do each little each test until you pass it with like a 90 or a B. And then you just eventually build your way up and then you just start taking that mock test. And you just keep taking it till, you know, you get to that 90% and you're like, damn, you know. Anyway, that's it for this. You guys keep the questions coming. I'll keep answering them. Um, you guys can also also reach me on my new Instagram, which I I'm just coming out with, and you can ask me questions on there. It's at the real MRI man. So follow me on there. Ask me questions on there too if you want. And that's it, guys. Take care. Peace.